The brave little toaster traumatized a generation of kids. But in the best way possible. This was a phenomenal animated movie in a similar category as Toy Story. In 2012, a live action CGI remake was announced, yet never came out. Now we know why. The Brave Little Toaster is a movie about a toaster and abandoned appliances as they experience their own existential crisis. No, I'm not kidding. It's a movie about seeking acceptance, discovering the meaning of genuine connection, and finding your place in the world. Oh yeah, and it has a crazy air conditioner, it's my a terrifying clown nightmare, <laughs> sentient cars getting crushed, all that classic stuff for kids. So, if you couldn't figure it out by now, The Brave Little Toaster was not your average G-rated movie. Honestly, it can be enjoyed by adults just as much as kids, maybe even more. There was this darker tone, but it was also filled with wholesomeness, making you fall in love with the characters and worlds right away. Several of the crew members behind this went on to work at Pixar, so it was special. Now dark moments and incredibly catchy songs aside, we should talk about the reboot. In 2012, Water Spider-Man Entertainment acquired their rights to the Brave Little Toaster, planning to turn it into a live-action CG hybrid. These were the same guys behind Stort Little and Alvin and the Chipmunks, so you could imagine how it would go. Here's the thing. We never got a remake. Despite the project being announced a decade ago, what does the company have to show for it? Oh look! Nothing. However, I recently came across never-before-seen character designs for the movie. They come from designer Alan Bettino. Here's what our main hero would look like. The color scheme is completely different, the eyes are more realistic than before, and there's just a general vibe that doesn't seem like the Brave Little Toaster. Meanwhile, Radio's design is changed a bit to reflect modern technology. We also have a new character, Smartphone, who joins the party because that wouldn't have been possible in 1987. Kirby the Vacuum is blue now. Sure, why not? Lampy doesn't really look like the same character, but if that's how modern lamps are, then that's how he'll be designed. Blanky is supposed to be more of a sock puppet, I guess? Either way, these pieces of art were interesting to think about, even if they didn't capture the simplicity of the original movie. Anyway, I got in contact with the designer himself. Since he was working a bit with the remake, here's what he had to say. It was for the producers of the Alvin movies. They secured the rights and developed the project, but ultimately they pitched it around town, but couldn't drum up the funding. I think it was mostly a timing thing. I was one of three original developers on Nomeo and Juliet, and that took over 10 years to come to completion. So it's not unheard of for projects to go long periods with no activity. But I don't think Waterman Entertainment is even around anymore. Alan's right. Turns out the company actually shut down in 2015, which means that the reboot is just in limbo. While taking the brave little toaster into the real world sounds like a disaster in the making, believe it or not, the original director wanted to go in that direction. Jerry Reese, the guy who helped make the magic that is brave little toaster, had a reddit AMA a decade ago. He revealed that after wanting to revive the property, he began working on a sequel story, even saying he wanted it to be live action CG. The thing is, he wasn't invited to be a part of the remake that was announced. The industry big names say, don't worry, whoever it is will get in touch with you. You were writer and director on the original. But they don't get in touch. The current announcement of a remake, in fact, attempts to delete my role from the original entirely. Can't do that. Sorry. History is history. He plans to title the sequel, Brave Little Toaster, Homemade, but that never happened. We did good, didn't we? Yep. We did good. So now, what comes next? The truth is, we don't know. I do think what was announced in 2012 isn't actually happening because, you know, Waterman Entertainment is dead. Still, it is possible for the Brave Little Toaster to come back, especially in an era of revivals. The original is a cult classic, and there are tons of fans right now, even if they aren't talking about it. I'm hoping something gets announced soon, and bonus points if Jerry is involved. Let's cross our fingers. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.